What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see here is another infinite sum that I'm going to show you guys how to evaluate it. And um, for the ones who don't know the name of this series, um, there are alternating series. Because um, its sign changed alternatively. And um, I, I wrote down its few its first few terms for you guys, which one, which is 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 minus and goes on. So, um, okay, let's get into it. I, at first, I'm trying to turn this function to, uh, I'm trying to turn this infinite series to a function, function in terms of x. So, I can write it like f of x is equal to minus 1 to the power of n over 2 times the n plus 1 now multiplied by x to the power of 2 times the n plus 1 now here's the function and our main our main series is exactly this function when we put 1 instead of x into it because it will over f of 1 is nothing but our series okay so now what if I take the derivative of both sides if I take the derivative f prime of x is nothing but our infinite sum times the 2 times the n plus 1 times the x to the power of 2 times the n so now our 2 times the n plus 1 in our denominator will cancel out with the 2 times the n plus 1 in our numerator so we got rid of this one so we can write this again So, I can bring them together and write it a little bit So, n is equal to this infinite sum of minus x to the power of 2 all to the power of n And now, if you see, this is the geometric series and geometric series with the first with its first term is one so write it r is equal to one and its common ratio is nothing but minus minus x to the power of two so this series when it goes to infinity is nothing but 1 over 1 minus minus x squared so which is 1 over 1 plus x squared and uh, I'm going to continue it when I clean the board okay so in the last part we got to this new definition for our f prime of x um, and we knew that our f of 1 is nothing but our main series that we want to calculate and f of 0 is 0 because when we put 0 instead of x into our function okay let me write our new function it was our function if I put 0 instead of x it's going to be 0 so f of 0 is nothing but 0 and f of 1 is nothing but our main series so now using the definition of integral f of 1 minus f of 0 is exactly the integral of 1 from of 0 from of 0 to infinity of 0 to 1 of 
f prime of x dx. So if I calculate the integral from 0 to 1 of f prime of x, actually I calculated the f of n minus f of 0, which f of 0 is 0. So this integral is nothing but our main, uh, the answer of our main series. So now I just need to calculate this integral. And we knew that our f prime of x is 1 over x squared plus 1. So the integral of, uh, integral of from 0 to 1 of 1 over 1 plus x squared d of x, which it's a famous integral and it's going to be equal to the inverse tangent of x. So, the inverse tangent of x from 0 to 1 and our answer of this series is the inver inverse tangent of 1 minus the inverse tangent of 0 which the inverse tangent of 0 is nothing but 0, and the inverse tangent of 1 is nothing but pi over 4. So the answer of our series is pi over 4. That was absolutely amazing. And here's the answer. And also, you can calculate the series using Fourier series or um, the Taylor series of inverse tangent. But here's the main answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Ha <laughs>